This is part 3 of the Citroen DS3. Now, one of my subscribers, my good friends at Crank, had uh, pointed out that the temperature shown in the, P uh, the PCM was 404 Fahrenheit. Now, that, as we all know, that's far too high. That's like, it should be 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So, that means that the engine's at 180, 180 degrees. So, there's definitely something far wrong with this. And actually, if you listen to my first video, I'll just let you see that. The, the fan is constantly running. So that could really fling you for a loop when you think about if you just uh, focused, but this is on the manufacturer's data, but what you've got to really do to check temperatures is to go to normal OBD2. And you can see up here, this is what I've done on this occasion. I went into OBD, and you can see there on the left hand side, the, the second one down, I mean, we'll, we'll just hide that at the moment. So that's the air intake is the first one. And the second one is engine coolant, and you can actually see the real temperature is 46 degrees, and that matches just roughly the air intake temperature. So that's a good, that's a good wee test actually to do if you think you suspect your coolant temp sensor is not quite right. You can match it to your intake air temp sensor. So that told me there was nothing wrong with my coolant temp sensor, and that 404, the 404 degrees that I showed you in the last screen, that is what you call substituted value. And the PCM does that to bring on the fan. So always check actual values using normal OBD. And uh, because, as I say, OBD doesn't tell any lies. It must display what actually the car is seeing. But if you've got a figure in OBD like minus 40, that means the sensor's disconnected. Or if you had it in normal OBD, if you had it through the roof, that means it's a, what you call a short circuit within that. So anyway, that's a couple of tips for you. So... Back to the other question I got for Crank was, yes, I was mucking about moving the coils about to see if the fault moved, and uh, that's how I got to the bottom of it, but as I said in the video, I couldn't get misfire data, the only thing I got on this thing was uh, to see the injectors drop out, but if there's any questions, keep firing them away, it's a good learning curve, anyway, cheers!